Okay. I think we're live. Let's see if we are. Yes, I'm actually live. And now I got my... <sighs> well, it is... I don't even day of the week it is. What's going on? Oh, what's going on, cheap and nerdy? Yes, there, part of the title does say blame pop couple. So that means that I may have been influenced to buy and or trade it for something that is pop couple related. Um, hope everyone is having a good Tuesday. I, I, just, I forgot what day of the week it was because I had to work a 12 hour shift on Sunday, which was bananas. And so, yeah, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Then I didn't pay anything for it, but I traded in a bunch that I didn't want anymore to facilitate the purchase of this set item. But I only have three people in here. If we need a couple more people in here, I'll show you guys what, what Pop Tuple made me do. And it is all Pop Tuple's fault. So blame Pop Tuple. Um, well, and actually, really, what kind of spurred this is I've been watching the Gasle cast on Instagram. They've been posting pictures from Disney World of a certain creature. So I, I kind of wanted my own certain creature to show off but it's actually right down here trying to grab it i'm a new yorker so that's another hint something that reminds me of home it is not fun to related that's why i'm blaming pop Tupper for this i finally own the nycc liberty chomp I love this thing. I've been eyeballing it for. I've been eyeballing this for months at Plastic Empire. Um, I finally decided I'm going to start purging a couple of pops. So I purged a couple of pops for this fella. Um, Yes. So I'm finally part of the Chomp family. Um, I do have my eye on a couple of other ones. So I may go over to the storage facility, go through my pops, get through, get rid of more pops, and maybe buy, maybe trade for another one. They did have the Gumball one. Um, I didn't even want to ask how much that one was. Um, but this I actually asked Pop a couple of couple about a month or so ago about the price on this, and they told me it was a pretty decent price. So, I mean, honestly, Brittany, they've got. I mean, obviously, they're they they uh, do a lot of the distribution for them. So, I mean, I walked in there, and they got a bunch of different ones. They have the X-ray one, which is the one that the Jassel cast is taking pictures of right now in uh, Disney. I want that one. Um. Yeah, pop double let me started on these. Um, if I have to bleed most of my collection, my pops yet a couple more than I will. Um, I mean, obviously, right now I'm not displaying my pops, so they're just kind of sitting around. I mean, Plastic Empire is only what a seven hour drive. I'll come up for the weekend to go shopping there, and, th and they've got they got chomps, they have some tiny ghosts. Um, so, I mean, you know, they, they got a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, I was actually, when I was in there trading my stuff in, uh, they had just gotten in a collection from someone that they mailed it into space. Ah, uh, 60. It was 60 bucks. Yes, Pop Couple. What's going on? I finally pulled the trigger on him. It's all your fault. I hope you, I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. You finally suckered me in. Well, you got me. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I'm not. I love Funko, but you know, the last couple of months I've just been kind of like, 
I mean, I have some, most of them I like, so it's going to be hard to kind of pick and choose from now what I'm going to get rid of. But I want to, I want to pare down the collection a lot. Um, you know, want to get more into different stuff. What's going on, Kenneth Bird? I, I'm actually using my phone for chat because it's easier. And, and, and uh, what's going on, Twitdra? I'm trying to, I'm trying to watch both screens here, but it's kind of hard. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I pulled the trigger. I'm happy. Carolyn's happy. Um, and I did a few more pops to, you know, get rid of. And then I'm, let me go back bet, in another one. Yes. I, I do. I mean, obviously I do. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just, I mean, for the price that I paid for this, yeah, I could have bought a bunch of pops, but they'd just sit on a wall and they would look kind of stupid. And I did buy a mystery box and I was so pissed with what I, with what I got. I just, Deleted the video. Um, I had gotten a. I did two of the Chrono boxes. I got one of those HR puffin stuffs from uh, the Toy Tokyo bundle. I got a, a uh, anime pop. I, I I honestly, that's kind of what drove me over the edge. I'm going to trade these in. I mean, honestly, I mean, it would be nice to see some of these companies pay. Or, or you know, work with you know. Jetta posted on Instagram yesterday. It would be nice to see a lot of you know Funko, um, kind of embrace what you know, you know, the YouTubers and the content creators. It would be nice to see you know, like Tiny Ghost do that, um, you know, or you know, Chomp or whoever you know, you know, work with some of these, you know, with some of you guys on on partnerships or just. You know, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it'd be kind of cool. What's going on, Smitty? Yes. <sighs> I'm I'm so exhausted right now. I've looked, I mean, it's Tuesday and I've already put in 30 hours and another three days of work to go. And then I'm off this weekend. But, um, but yeah, no. So I, I'm kind of making that twist away from Funko. Um, my friend Dre's. You know, he kind of inspired me. You know, you know, he's he's been uh, trading in his pops for Marvel Legends and different statues and stuff. And you know, I sit back and I think about it. I got a lot of pops that I don't want. And quite honestly, as you know, the easy thing to do is sell them. You know, you know, but then you got to post them on Macari or eBay or Facebook, and then you got to deal with the BS of you know shipping them out and you know having stockpile of packing peanuts or you know bubble wrap shit like that and i honestly don't have time for that they are brian but i mean the quality of this compared to this yeah and i mean and, and even i mean even just going with like a a marvel legend or a you know a store's black series you get a little bit more detail and a little bit more money, but I mean, obviously the, you know, the chomps and the tiny ghosts are more expensive, but some of them are really cool. You know, you know, the designs on them are, are, are amazing and you really can't go wrong. I mean, obviously you get what you pay for, you know, $10 pop. Um, these may retail for 30 or 40. So, or, or more, you, you know, you kind of, it's, it's an even trade off. What's going on, Nick? How you doing? Oh, yes. Yeah, send all, send all of your packing peanuts to Sean. Um, I've actually, I'm actually going to send him a sticker and I've debated on just getting the bot, the biggest bots I can find and just put packing peanuts in it and the sticker at the bottom that, you know, I kind of want to do that for Sean, but, that, but now that I said it, I'm not going to do it. The Sean's going to expect it. So I'm not going to do that, but toy fair. Um, I, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll go buy some packing peanuts this weekend. Maybe even some real peanuts, just to kind of throw them off the off the. Uh, just kind of throw them off a little bit. Just pack it with real peanuts instead of packing peanuts. But uh, but no, Toy Fair. I got to admit, my wallet hemorrhaged a little bit when I saw a lot of the stuff that came out. Um, 
But I on as quickly as I thought about pre-ordering stuff, I, I I'm, I'm probably not done to pre-order a lot or any at all. The Back to the Future ones are really really the only ones that I would honestly consider buying. Um, I'm a huge fan of Back to the Future. Use the bed, use bags of peanut. There we go. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, honestly, you know, I mean, I love Sean. He's a good guy, but you know, I'm gonna have to bust his balls on, on a on a on a package being sent to him. I just have to. Um. But yeah, no, Back to the Future is the only one I'm really looking at buying. Um, a lot of other stuff has my attention, but they may not have my money. Um, like I said, the Marvel Legends that are coming out this year, I think as good as as good of a job as Funko did, I think Marvel, I think Hasbro is is going to get some money uh, if, if I if I can if I can. Uh, I can spare money to be honest. Um, yes, I'm blaming Pop Couple, Sean. Blaming them for this. This is this is all Pop Couple's fault. They made me do it. They flew to Georgia, put a gun to my head at work today, and said, "You're going to pick up this chump today. I don't care what you do." And then they flew back to California, and they're back already. So yeah. I mean, honestly, quick drill, you know, you know, I sat down and, and I watched the, the whole uh, Legends. Uh, <laughs> that was pricey. Um, I mean, honestly, like, you know, I mean, if I if I pre-order stuff, you know, the, the Bat TV stuff, I probably will use uh, Spastic Pops. I've, I, you know, I've I pre-ordered from them before and I've, and I've never had a problem. Now, shilling's fun. Y'all can shill. Um I mean, I mean, obviously, I don't have any merch to shill. I mean, I'll send you all a sticker if you send me your your address. That's about as far as I'm gonna go on shilling. Um, I mean, if you're in, if you're in the uh, Atlanta area, I would stop in at Plastic Empire, um, home of Chomp, Tiny Ghosts, and awesome deals on pops. I'm not. Sh- I, I don't. I don't. I don't have a coupon code, but uh, you know, just stop in there if you're in the area. Um, they do have chomp on on hand. So, uh, but yeah, what is everyone? I mean, obviously, all you know, most of you guys are anime fans, so most of you guys are probably getting all the cool anime stuff that's coming out at Toy Fair. But what's going on? Welcome to the stream, Alexandra. Um, he technically he was free. Because I, I I traded I had I, I traded in a bunch of pop, a bunch of uh, a bunch of pops that I didn't want anymore, but he but he was sixty bucks, um, or would have been sixty bucks if I if I had to pay for him, you know I, you know with my trade I was close. He asked me what I was looking for, I pointed at the chomp. He said okay I, okay we can do the deal, but I mean they, they have a lot of the chomps on hand. They do have yes I I I, I know what I said there. That's why I kind of said it that way. But I mean, honestly, you know, Plastic Empire's store is really good. I mean, they get a lot of, they get most of my business. I'm trying to, I think he was 400 piece. I'm not 100% sure. What's going on, Candy Man? Welcome to the stream. But, but yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I always, before anything, I, I will always shop local. Um, I get a lot of my pops and stuff from Plastic Empire because they're right around the corner from the house. Um, I do drive to Steel Collectibles, which is about 20 minutes from the house. Um, that's that's where I go for a lot of my older um, older legends, older Marvel Select things like that. That's where I'll go. Um, they have they have another black hole that I'm afraid to go down to. They have a lot of vintage games. They've got everything from like Sega to Game Boy to Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Uh, and all, all the way up the line to the new stuff. They do have hot toys there. They've got DC. They got statues. So I mean, there's a lot of cool stores in the air, in, in my area, and I'm fortunate for it. You know, why am I gonna go spend money at Hot Topic when I can go right on the road and shop locally? You know, you know that's kind of the reason why when I trade my pops and I trade them locally, that way they can turn. I mean, I I know they're gonna sell them for what they're worth. 
I know I, I know I probably could have made more money off of them, but like I said, by the time I you know put it up on Facebook or put it up on Matari and hope someone buys it, I could just get what I want. You know, I mean not and obviously not obviously the pops that traded in. No, I didn't. I got the chalice exclusive Vegeta and I got Clang. Or yeah, I got Clang from HR Puff and stuff. I literally opened the boxes. I filmed that I filmed it on, on my lunch break. And honestly, I I was so pissed. And I know I know they were I know they were only like ten dollar boxes. I wasn't expecting grails or anything, but quite honestly, you know, you know, just watching you guys open the boxes, <laughs> I'm like, no. No, I can't I can't post the video. I, I did not want to get salty on a video. Well, obviously, I'm getting kind of salty on a live, but I mean, honestly, I I want the I, oh no, Brian, it wasn't a chase. It wasn't. I mean, obviously, if it was any, if it was anything really worthwhile, that was anime. I would have hit one of you guys up and said, "Hey, y'all need this before I traded it." It was just a common. Um, I actually I have salty somewhere in one of these boxes back here. I need to find him. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, honestly, Pop Double, you all weren't salty. You were just sarcastic. You know, you know, there wasn't there wasn't a lot of salt in there. There was more sarcasm, which, which I appreciated. You know, I mean, I mean, you spent the exact same money you would have spent on the on the bundle, and you didn't even, you didn't even get the ten inch. That that's the horrible part. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of sodium content in, in, in some of my in some of my my streams and videos, but. I'm trying not to get salty because, you know, I mean, I, I, I have high blood pressure. I don't want to have a heart attack and die on stream. That wouldn't be good for anyone. So, you know, we're just going to keep everything calm. Collected. Hey, Tracy Shepard, welcome to the stream. Uh, I don't think I don't think I said hi to Zach Bonifer. Hey, Zach. Hey, Jeremy. Um, trying to see. Oh, yeah, I'm getting used to this now. That, that I mean, honestly, I could die on stream and no one would watch it, which is fine because you know, again, I'm not doing this for the attention or the money. But uh, to the... yeah, all right. I'm I'm just getting used to kind of showing off. <laughs> there we go. I'm I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's honestly it's fun getting back into into getting on streams and stuff. If y'all didn't watch the video yesterday, which I mean, obviously 18 of you guys did, finally got the comment book that I've been wanting, but. This guy right here, how is he over 30 bucks already? I I'm just kind of curious. How is how is this pop over $30 already? I hope it keeps climbing because you know obviously I'll keep him for a little bit longer and then I'll try and get rid of him, but but how is he how is he over 30 bucks? I'm just I'm just asking for a friend. Oh, I'm sure it'll go down, and I'm sure if the the that WWE screws him over tomorrow, it'll go down real quick. Well, I mean, what's funny is it was an Amazon exclusive, and then the WWE came out with the same pop with a different sticker on it for a lower price. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm, I'm horrible at this. I. I you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's just, it's just too much time to keep up with everything. But I mean, he's a cool pop. I'm just trying to figure out how the hell. I was just a little confused because he was like 20 something the other day and then he's like 35 now. I'm like, damn. Okay. But I mean, honestly, it's a cool pop. I wouldn't get rid of it. Um, but I have, another, I have a bunch of pops over at, over at the house. I probably wind up getting rid of. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, 
Oh no, it's not a bad thing. I mean, I mean, obviously, obviously, I bought it for a reason, and I'll sell it for a reason. You know, I mean, whether it, whether it's price or you know wanting to feed my my newfound chomp addiction, which damn you, pop couple, I'm in trouble now. But I, I've always been in trouble with Plastic Empire around, so. Not you, no, that didn't bring it out of here. Yes, nothing is bad today. Cause I've got Lady Chomperty. That's her new name, Lady Chomperty, or Mr. Chomperty. I don't know. But, but I, I mean, honestly, it's always fun buying something something that that, that you've had your eye on for a while. Ah, there goes more money. I'm mean, so much money. This is a chump right here, Jeremy Warden. This is my chump. What's going on, Chet Matman? I I appreciate you stopping in. Get back to work. Are are you selling furniture or are you doing law today? Which one are you doing? Or are you working the corner? If you do, you better make some money. <laughs> yes, they are because they're nice about it. Pop Double is nice about it. It's like, this is cute. This is innocent. You should buy one. But they never tell you the price. Don't forget to hunt. Yeah, please hit that like button. I can't see how many. Uh, actually, I probably can't see how many likes I have. Y'all better hit the like button. I'm going to hit the like on my own stream. You know, how do you not like them? They're pretty cool looking, to be honest. I mean, some of them are, I mean, it's just like everything else. Some of them are iffy. Some of them are not. Here, well, I mean, it's it's not as bad as, like, you know, the, the people who, who shill the hot toys. Here, you know, it's just, it's just part, it's just half your rent payment. Yeah, it's just a mortgage payment. Go, go ahead and buy that. Go, you know, payment plan, you know. Even on payment plan, you're still, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month. Yeah, it's fine. You know, hot toys are not that bad. You get, you know, they're they're good investments. So it's a four hundred one k. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, and also the quits are cool. Hot toys do. Um, you know, the, your sideshow hot toys, you can, you can buy them on payment plan. Um, depend, depending upon compare what my dog was eating. Yes. Yeah, sideshow does. Yes. Yeah, sideshow does, does, uh, payment plans. I actually, I actually signed up for one. And I, then, I, then as I got closer to actually paying on it, I just canceled it because I didn't really want it. I mean, hot toys are cool, Jeremy. I agree. Uh, will I ever own one? I I, I don't. I, I would like to see myself owning one. Um, I, Sideshow does. They sell art. They sell toss babies. They sell just regular statues. I have a eight year old terrier mix, and then I've got a four year old little Dotson Schnauzer mix. They're both laying in their crates right now because. Because they just got done playing, running around and playing. That way, I can actually take care of being on stream and not having to worry about dogs jumping up here. Because where I'm streaming from, I don't have a lot of room for them to run around, so they stay locked up. But but they get a lot of time outdoors in the backyard, running around, chasing the chasing the goats that are behind the fence next to us. And I'm just a poor ninja trying to find it out. I, I'm. I'm right there with you. I'm trying to make a dollar out of 10 cents, to be honest. Well, ants have no effect on me. It's not because I don't want to buy things. It's because crazy shepherd. That's why I took things that I already owned and traded them for something that I really wanted. So, I mean, the toss babies are cool. Um, I saw the ones for the Mandalorian and once again, that's a rabbit hole. I don't want to go down. But they do look cool. Um, Smitty's trying. He, he, I mean, honestly, push away because I mean, obviously, sooner or later, there's gonna be a post or a live stream where I'm holding the toss baby, or I'm holding a you know a twick or 
you know, something that I haven't owned before. Just like this, I haven't owned one of these. So, I, Pop Culture does, I believe, right, Smitty? Um, I've been on their website, and I think they do on certain items, or most items they do. I haven't really bought from Pop Culture. I, I usually do Entertainment Earth only because I don't, I don't have to pay up front. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, Brian, I, I, I do the same thing at work. If I'm slow, I'll, I'll go on like, I go on different websites and I'll look for stuff and just kind of, like, I wish I could, I wish I could just like, I kind of, I wish I could find a J for a, a, a good deal that I found my, my silent Bob for, um, you know, that would be kind of awesome to find because I mean, Silent Bob, I paid 40 bucks for him because he was damaged. And now he's, if he was in perfect condition, he'd be over 80 bucks. So I would have, I would have doubled my money. Um, has, all right. Has, has anyone gotten confirmation or shipping confirmation on the little suite? Because I got my email the, the, like last week saying, Oh, it'll ship this week based upon when it was when it was received. So I'm just trying to hope and people have gotten their little sweets. Plastic Empire, them fuckers, they got they had one. I wanted to steal it off their off their desk, but I didn't. Yeah, I mean honestly Jeremy Warden, I, I I've given up food. Um but you know, I still eat. I mean I you know I eat ramen and I eat, you know, at buffets a lot. You know, that way I can eat a lot of food in a short period of time. And then just feed off myself, you know. And almost all of the time was shipped to the U.S. And the... All right, Smitty. Um, I might have to ban you. But no, I'm just going to act. That's not bad. And... Yeah, I, I, I mean, again, I saw it today stand, standing on their on their counter at work or at a uh, at, at Plastic Empire. I wanted to, I wanted to take that, but you know, I got one coming. I don't want you know, and, and I shop there. They know me. I don't want you know, I don't want them to have me arrested for stealing the little sweet pop. So I'll wait for mine. But uh, and I also picked this up while I was there. Hulk Hogan because. I couldn't find him online. So I had a little bit of extra credit money, so I used it for Hulk Hogan. <laughs> no, I want the set. I don't want I don't want just Jay. I mean, what good is Jay without Silent Bob or Silent Bob without Jay? But I figure, I mean, honestly, for the price that I paid for Silent Bob, I'll wait for Jay. I paid 40 for my Silent Bob because he's he's damaged. There's some damage on him somewhere on here. I noticed it. Yeah, there's damage along the front. I mean, it's in a protector, so you can't really tell. But there's some damage across that top, top crease right there. But, I mean, I mean, honestly, I've gotten some good deals from Plastic Empire. That's why I shop there. I can't figure out how to get paid starting a fund to fund. Um, I mean, Zach, I, would, I mean, honestly, I would just... If you can, if you can grow your channel big enough... You, you people will will send you money just for hanging out, and you can call it a pop meeting or a pop addiction meeting. You can, I mean, you know, I mean, I, again, I, again, I watch a YouTuber who does a live reaction for WWE stuff, um, and the money he gets on a streamly basis. I mean, honestly, this guy gets hundreds of dollars at a time from one person. What's going on, Donald Newman? Welcome to the stream. I mean, I mean, I'll, I mean, I mean, honestly, you don't need monetization. You just say, "Hey, look, um, this is my PayPal link. Send me money." See, I would do that, but I'm I'm too stupid to do that. I just gave away my sarcasm and my and my and my personality for free. You know, you know, a lot of y'all charge for it. I just, I just give it away for free. 
No, but I, I mean, honestly, like, 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 you know, people throw out ten, twenty dollars at a time. There are people in his community who throw out hundred dollars at a time, and more than once, I'm like, I, I want to get paid to watch wrestling, and you just watch me watch it, and I and I say stupid stuff, and I and I didn't pay my rent, and that's fine. But he's Canadian, so I mean, that kind of runs in the in the in the uh, top pops realm of you know, dude has a hundred thousand subscribers, and he's getting paid. By YouTube for all of his YouTube ads and everything, but then he's also getting paid by you know supporters of his that have deep pockets. I just want one of them to send me some money. Brian, the dude doesn't have a job. All he does is he lot is he streams. He streams Raw, SmackDown, NXT, pay per views, and then UFC, and he gets hundreds of dollars a night. And I'm blown away. He gets like 2,000 people in there at a time. I have a PayPal. It did not help at all. Zero dollars. If it wasn't free, I would have. Ah, uh, I'm just, I'm trying to catch up on chat. And Smitty, yes, they are. Um, but I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, honestly, I mean, the kid's been doing it for years. I've been following him for years. So, I mean, obviously something's worked, you know, you know, I mean, obviously his community is, is humongous, but I mean, honestly, that's a, that's a YouTuber who has, uh, you know, over a hundred thousand subscribers, but he's getting a lot of traffic on his stuff. I mean, obviously it's people like me who are lazy. I don't want to sit down and watch wrestling. I want to watch a, a, a Canadian ginger comment about him watching it you know i mean who wants to watch wrestling on their own anymore you know so i mean if you want to get, if you want to get rich and famous watch a show stream your reaction and people will watch i it, it works people do it for wrestling all the time well i'm sorry brian for keeping Brittany away from editing um and you have videos of the beard and not a beard Yeah, I, I mean that's that's kind of that's kind of wild, though, Zach. And, and and it throws me for a loop when when, when they do that because like, like you see Boost and Pops, his beard is one length. You watch a video, it's like three times as long. Then he does back to short, and then he goes to long. Then it's then he's got hair. Then he doesn't have hair. Well, I, I mean, I'll, I mean, sure, guys weren't bad. I, I mean, honestly, I've got. All right, I'll tell you a story. I have a coworker or an ex coworker of mine. He lives with his girlfriend. They've been dating now, honestly, I think for years, but she used to have a boss who would take her on expensive cruises, but he couldn't come. He pays her like $1,500 a month in rent. He cleans, he does everything, and they sleep in separate bedrooms. So yeah, there's you know there's that. Um, see, I, I mean honestly, like, I mean the, the the same shirt can be explained because we're all nerds. We wear the same clothes every day. Who is to say that James doesn't wear the same shirt four days in a row? I'm not saying it happens, but you know, it's explainable. I mean, if you do laundry every night, who you know. Who 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 are we to know? What if what if that one shirt is James's security shirt, and he has to wear that shirt all the time, or else he feels like someone is gonna like you know kidnap him? Just like Linus had his security blanket, you have a security T-shirt that you wear. See, I mean, I can't do that. I can't do like I can barely do one video in a row. I give you guys all credit for doing six, seven, eight, ten videos in a row. I mean, I mean, you know, you know, you know, just like buying mystery boxes. I bought two and I wanted to shoot myself because I didn't get anything good. Y'all buy hundreds and you get shit. You know, I I can't do it. Give you guys credit for that. Thank you guys for buying the mystery boxes so I don't have to. 
but I did, and I got screwed. Every time I do it, I get screwed. So you know what? I'm not buying mystery boxes anymore. They were just, they just, they were just watching me sleep. I can't watch TV. <laughs> yes, exactly. If you turn them inside out. Well, well, that, well, Sean, I mean, you buy so many boxes, they have to know your address. Like, you know, it, it's honestly, it's like me ordering pizza. I used to order pizza from the same place, like almost every night. After like the third week in a row, I got great service. My pizza was always on point. And they always throw in an extra like cookie or something for dessert because I bought so much. So who's to say that, you know, you know, Chrono, they don't see Sean, Ron, you know, Sean's government name, Sean's government address or his PO box. And after a while they realize, Oh, that's, you know, that's Sean. This is, you know, this is put another drill in there. Send it to him. You know, wait a couple, wait a couple of weeks. Send him another one because in Sean time, the you know, in chrono time is a couple of weeks, but in Sean it's a couple of months. So it just seems like he did sprails all the time. All right, Crazy Shepherd, thank you for popping in. Um I hope I didn't run you off. Hopefully you come back to our next stream. Uh I'm gonna try and do it on Tuesdays because I know that Ty Locked has stuff on Monday, and I know that Pop Couple has Wednesday, and then y'all have you know, then the Sean and Brian have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Thursday. I'll try and fit it in when whenever y'all ain't going live. Exactly, you know, you know, it's like, oh, this was from six months ago. I got a grail. Six months, you know, same, you know, same two week period. I got another grail. But I mean, honestly, you know, I mean, that proves that it works. Some people do get grails. I just don't have the money to sift through the shit boxes. I, you know, you know, I'm. I like going to Disney World. I'm sorry, you know. <laughs> um, I wouldn't really say he's the poor man. He's he's just the Sean Ryan. He's, I mean, Sean is Sean. You know, franchise kids is franchise kids. I don't really think they're one and the same, unless Sean started buying pallets. And Sean's beard's a little bit shorter too. I just figured Brian. Uh, there we go. Yeah. No, it, it's eleven because he also owns the Sean Ryan shirt. Brian has eleven shirts and two sweatshirts. Does, does he now has the booze and pop sweatshirt too? But once again, you know, for Sean, Pop Couple, and Cheap and Nerdy, my advice for the for you guys coming going to um, ECCC is to get a pod. Just get all, just buy all your stuff. I mean, you're, you're staying at an Airbnb. You can call pods. They can come to the Airbnb, drop off a a, a uh, drop off a storage pod. You all fill it up with all your stuff, and then have it sent to someone's house, and then y'all just mail it from there. That way you can buy what you want. You can, you know, it'll be safely and securely shipped to a, to a, to a, one of your houses. And then you guys can just kind of box it and ship it from there. And I have just enough money to play with the shit boxes. Well, I mean, you are in Florida, so I would say at least three, you know, I mean, you, you got booze and pops, you got your, your Kansas city one. And then, I mean, a third one wouldn't hurt. I mean, I live in Georgia and I barely have any, any cold weather clothes and it's colder more up here than it is down there. But I'm also fat, so I don't really need sweatshirts. See, see, all right. So pop double, then y'all can get a U-Haul. You can get a, you can get a trailer, fill it, drive it home, pay them to, you know, you know, you know, pay, you know, split the U-Haul and then pay, you know, pay them for, you know, get paid for shipping instead of bringing it on the plane. Yeah, actually, more. But Brittany, where's the others? So, all right. So Brian has five sweatshirts. I've got literally. I have one sweatshirt, and it's a little zipper. Um, it's some urban company. I, I mean, honestly, I'm cheap. I go to Burlington. I buy all the all the 
cool people clothes on on deep clearance. My oh, word just gave me ten outfits. And uh, that's the best part about some jobs is when they give you the clothes to wear. Like I got eleven pairs of jeans and eleven shirts that I can wear. I leave them. I, I can leave them at work or bring them home. I bring. I have them at home, and I just wash them. I have pairs of jeans that I can wear. I got my button-down shirts for work that I don't wear out because they have my company name on it and my name. But what's going on, JJ Gloucester? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. And we've been going for 40 minutes. And I, I don't I haven't really said anything. I've, I've blamed Pop Couple. I kind of glossed over um, Toy Fair a little bit. But I mean, you guys are awesome. I, I, I honestly really appreciate everyone coming in. Um, you know, I, I've missed going live weekly with, with, with you guys. It's, you know, it's always fun just hanging out. You know, I'm not doing mystery box battles. I'm not doing mega streams. I'm not doing, you know, um, I'm not doing game videos. I'm not, you know, I'm just here hanging out with you guys, kind of bouncing off you guys, you know. So, I mean, I, I, I appreciate it. Um, I said mystery boxes will never really be a part of the channel um, because... Quite honestly, like I said, I I'm, I'm I don't have the stomach for it. Jonesboro, all right. So I I actually live in Marietta, but I would never um never move back north. As much as I love the food up north, I I, I just couldn't do it. You know the 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 mega epic snow, mega of the ultra America epic. I mean, I, I mean, honestly, I wish I was broadcasting from from an attic. I feel like I feel like nobody goes to their attic anymore to live stream. Um, why doesn't I any mean, of you all? They aren't. I mean, you 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 could, but but knowing the you know the people that are going, they might need a U-Haul to to to, to bring all that stuff back. I mean, Brian's got like six days of, uh, I don't know how he has six days of uh, Funko, but he did. Uh, I live in South. All right, so pretty much every time I go to, I drive to Disney, I, I stop in Valdosta for the night because that's the cool place to stop. Uh, I don't, see, I don't either, Sean. I mean, houses in the South don't have an attic, but I need, a, I need an attic. Smitty, I, oh, trust me, I know I'm a part of the community. I mean, I, you know, I've been here almost maybe two years in August. You know, it, it, ju it's just, you know, you know, sometimes, sometimes you get lost in the shuffle. But a lot of that thing had to do with with this piece of crap breaking down last year and taking so long to get it fixed. But, but no, I mean, honestly, you guys are all awesome. Um, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm here to create a obviously another place to hang out <laughs> and hear my dogs bark because someone probably is home i don't know but <laughs> see i mean that, that's what that's what we're missing though. we're missing someone in, in the attic at like midnight yelling at their alexa that that that's what i miss that's what i miss i miss the late night streams you know where people you know just hung out in their attic yeah, we haven't had it, but not. Come on, I, I want an attic. I miss having an attic. There's more storage space up there, but yeah, there's also squirrels and raccoons and Lord knows what else up there. But yeah, I still want only people who. Yes, and and honestly, I had an attic when when I was I actually lived in my attic when I was uh, back at home in New York. Um, it was a nice nice attic. It, it literally went to stretch of the whole house. So I had like a couple hundred square feet. Nice big bed, big TV, big sound system. God, I wish I still lived at home. Why did my parents sell that house? That, that would have been a cool place to live. I mean, I'm 38. I'm, I'm still living at home in the attic. Would have been cool, you know. My apartment. <laughs> um, this looks like. 
crap. But this is what I have to deal with. Um, I had an apartment. If you go back to my earliest live streams, I had I had an attic. Everyone else just has a vent hole on top. That's, that is full insulation. I'm uh, I don't know. Like Sean and see see, but Sean's basement is a two bedroom basement, right? It, it's like a it's like a really huge basement that looks like the stu- that, that let like a condo. See, Sean, down here, down here in the south, you would you'd be living in like in one of those storage sheds you see at like Home Depot. That are that are a couple hundred bucks. You know, you just, it has a little ramp. You go up in there and you just close the doors and you store stuff. I had an attic at the house I lived in last year. Didn't use it much because you brought the ladder down. And it was oh god, yeah, yeah, that was the horrible part too. Is trying to put them steps back up. That's why I done. Well, no, to be honest, Ness, the best room that I've seen so far in all my years of YouTube is Devin's room. The uh, the ready for CSI room, the yellow, greenish, pukish walls, spit covered floor. Yeah, you know, Don lives in a fallout shelter. No one. He probably does. I, I, I mean, with with the amount of pops that Sean has. I would live in a panic room if I was him. I'd put all my pops in the panic room, and then I would just live in there. I, I would have the 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 DoorDash guy knock three times, the guy from Grubhub knock twice, Pizza Hut knock four times. And that way, he knows who's coming in, who's coming out. I imagine. No, honestly, like I've thought about it. I imagine Devin's room with hay on the ground. There's a little area where he sits. There's a little like card table with his with his with his laptop on there. There's that one there's that one loose light bulb hanging from a string. And then that, that that's his lighting. Now <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to help Sean out here, but no, I mean I mean J- this basements, but they're filled with People who are dead. I mean, this is, I mean, you're living in the South. People, you know, you get buried in the ground. Uh, you don't see that. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, and that's one thing. It's like, you would think that, like, with the threat of tornadoes and hurricanes, a basement would be a good thing. It'd be a good place to go that has nice, strong walls that you can protect yourself from wind, you know, wind and stuff like that. But what do I know? But it hangs high. <laughs> says Jeff, just can't. Yes, that's right. Um, but with Devin, with Devin's wall, what you don't see is behind his laptop where his camera is. There's a row of buttons, a row of skeletons hanging like this because they're dead. What's going on, Tylock? Welcome to the stream. We have 15 people. I don't know how many like actually have 16 people. Um I'm gonna restart this here and see what we got. I have 14 lights, so I'm happy with that. And once again, I feel like shit because I'm going against Greg Cook. I love Greg. Um But I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep rolling. Basins in the South would never tr- I mean it's you know what T- Lo- logic does not belong in here. That is very that's very true. Houses can't stay dry. Um, but yeah, it's I don't know. It is crazy living in the south. I've been here shit fifteen sixteen years. I lived in Florida for five years. Worst five years of my life. Um, trying to think now. Yeah, I lived in Florida for five years. I moved to the wonderful sounding city of Cumming. Yes, it's actually spelled like Cumming, Georgia. Home of the uh, 
the BJ's and Dick's on the same road. Again, awesome joke, but it's true. Um, just, uh, just, I'm just trying, but dogs are just making weird noises. I'm just making sure they're not dying, old man. They ain't dying. Ella, what are you doing? She's just sitting there chewing on something. Yes, there there is a good chance of it being moist and coming. Whoever named that city, um, they they miss they they they're missing out though on like selling T-shirts, like you know, you know how they have like I Heart New York. Why not I Heart Coming? Have we kind of? I mean, sell a lot of you sell a lot of shirts. I'm just saying. You go to coming high school or coming middle school. A little weird, but mm. what's going on, Danielle, aka Danny D. Welcome to the stream. Ah, yes. Uh, it's very moist, but uh, depending upon where you're where you're at in coming, it could smell like garbage or sanitation. All right, chat. Enjoy your evening. Get back on the corner. Make make Tat some money. I mean, honestly, I mean, honestly, I lived in coming for a year. No, two years. It's actually a really. I mean, it's a hold-on dish town, but it's growing. I just came in. I just came in on coming. Y yes. Um. Again. When you come to my stream, you're gonna hear weird shit. I, I apologize. You know, I'm not as uh, I'm not as uh, I'm not as uh, trying to find the the right adjective. I'm I'm not a, honestly. I am who I am. You know, I'm not gonna be PG about it. I'm not gonna. I'll try to censor myself somewhat because I know some of you guys are kids or have the mind of kids. I have the mind of a kid too. You know, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the town in Georgia, duh. I mean, I didn't know about coming until <laughs> I didn't even know about coming until I moved here. And the, the the judge I always asked was, "Where's going?" You know, you know, you know, drive through coming. Do you like where's going at? You know, I mean, it's a Florida and New York. Where's going? I I have the mind of a kid. I used to get. <laughs> Oh my god! No, I, I, oh no, we no, we know about coming. Not pop couple, not not politically correct. Yeah, but again, I lost a couple people. I lost, I'm down to down to thirteen people. What am I gonna do? Lucky thirteen, eh? Whatever, we're gonna keep rolling. But once again, I just want to thank everyone for stopping in. You guys don't have to, but I appreciate it. I will post my PayPal link now. Y'all owe me five bucks each. I'm just kidding. It's ten. It's at least ten. Pimp cat in the house. My favorite number is sixty-nine. It always has been. It's just one of those numbers that is just kind of weird. <laughs> you're only happy when you're in the middle of. See, no tie lock. You need to go to the BJ's that's right next to the Dick Sporting Goods and coming. Alexa! Pay for services and coming. All right, now, if we can get someone to a couple hundred more subscribers than they actually are, I will give away this uh, pack of stickers. I got them in the mail and I don't want them, but you know, you know, you know, if we can get, if we can get Chompy here to a hundred subscribers, I do another giveaway. Sorry. Shouldn't do that, but I did. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, that's probably why it took me so long to find a job here in Georgia. Where do you live coming? I'm not hiring him. He lives in coming. Just so that everyone can. Uns yes. Oh, 
Please stay subscribed. I'm here in the attic at night because the, the wife kicked me out of the bed. I figured I'd go live and we'd do a giveaway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was awesome. I'm sorry. I waited. I waited so long to do that. Now you should give away. A... On it. See, see, if if I were smart and I had a teespring, I would make that shirt. But I don't have. I don't have a teespring. I don't even have a shoe uh I don't have a shoe me uh, code. I don't have a. I don't have a seven bucks of pops code. I'm I'm way behind everyone. This is me. I love coming stickers. I love coming uh, magnets, bumper stickers. I want to I want to see one that has my kid is an honor student at coming high. School. People will stare. <laughs> you may drive by. Let's see. I mean, I, uh, I mean, I mean, honestly, that would be a conversation starter. Because then you can say, "Hey, I saw that on YouTube by Robert Brates YouTube. They come to my channel. They subscribe." And when I hit 10,000 subscribers, we're going to give away this this pop. It's hard to find pop. And uh, and a hat. We're going to give away a hat. Hat and a pop. If you wear an I Love Tummy shirt, no one will. <laughs> no, people will be, no, no, you reach out and say, no, 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 the other hand. It's like, it's like, it's like which hand do you want? But no. Uh, oh man. I mean, you have some people who 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 shake who won't shake your hand, and then you have some people who just want to try and sleep with you too. I, I love Tommy. Okay. I'm a lefty. That that is good information for uh, Sean and Brian and Bertney to have. Is uh, that's it. Hang on, there we go. All right, so I can do this from my phone. I realize I need to pass out some more wrenches. So the last time I passed out a wrench was like 2018. So. All right, I think we're. I'm just giving out some wrenches here. Give me a moment. See, I'm not going to be like every other channel that just mods everyone. Some of you are going to have to be unmodded for a while. <laughs> well, well, apparently Pimcat is no stranger to a lot of things. So, I mean, that, that doesn't really surprise me. Thank you for saying something, Smitty, so I can mod you. I mean, obviously, you're all are probably modded now anyway, so whatever. I broke my own rule. But. The only thing I won't do is I won't time people out. That's your job. I'm not going to time anyone out. Amazon. Maybe. <laughs> oh my god, that is awesome. See now 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 that would be a perfect thing to get to get my logo put on. Blue wrench of power, yes. Yes, the, yeah, unfortunately though this isn't Pusa Studio, so not everyone's gonna have one. Just, just to cool people, you know. I mean, obviously, everyone in the stream is cool, so you all get one. So now, now we're gonna go ahead and do a raid of my own channel. So you all just stay right here. Everybody, put. All 
I'm just, I, I, I'm just, I'm just being a jerk. I know. I know. I can't help it. Someone had to do it. I mean, it's been, it's been, it's been a while. I, I know, I know he was, I know, I know they were, they were, I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh non-gender roles here. They were, <laughs> I'm not giving away pops or nothing. <laughs> I'm, I might give away a sticker. I got some stickers. Want some stickers? Hang on, hang on. That's how they, uh, a, a refrigerator. Be right back. Oh my god. Who's even live right now? They only dragged his live, and I don't want to mess with Greg. I like Greg. Greg is good peoples. Hang on. There we go. Actually, there there is a coming fair. There 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 there's coming fairgrounds. Robert sent me to coming. Oh my god! I should I should have never said I lived in coming, but I, I recall dibs on the stickers. Nobody wants. I'm going to give them to Ness. Chick stick stickers. Let's see here. Just a uh, shirt for a pizza place. It's what you crave right in the middle of coming. Oh my God. You guys are too much. But again, y'all are my peoples. And I'm, I'm your person. So it sounded fucking gay. Never mind. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be the, sentimental douche that we're all one big community. We all should hug each other and love each other. If we all supposed to hug and love each other, send me pops. Send me money. I'm just kidding. Pro net store on me. I mean oh I mean honestly the main the main strip in coming has and uh, again I'm not lying. They have a BJ's they have a Dick Sporting Goods. They have a um, BJ's dicks. Why? Why send you pops? You? Hey, I'm not getting out of pops. I, 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 I'm using that as an excuse to get freebies from people. You know, I don't want. I don't want to buy them anymore. I just want people to send them to me. I'll, I will post my uh, wants list in the, in the, uh, in the description of the video, and you all just go through there and you send me them one by one. And we'll just pretend. Oh my god, a random fan sent me everything I wanted. No, I'm just kidding. Dude, just just send me food. That I mean honestly, out of everything that I see people get from other people, the pops, eh, I'm not really worried about. It's the food. I want to try these foods, man. I actually got a, two bags of the all dressed uh chips the other day from Walmart that are still in my car. I haven't eaten. I need to bring those in. Does this town say Cummin Cummins? No, it's actually coming, not Cummins like the, like the engine. Is your coming dental? They have a they have a lot of coming stuff. I, I I I'm not even kidding. Coming pizza, coming donuts. Um, I just. Ugh. Hang on. My Instagram is blowing up now. I'm Instagram famous now. People are actually messaging me on Instagram. I feel awesome. <laughs> oh my god, Smitty. That's a funny picture. I'm not I'm I, I won't show it, but yeah, that that face just scared me. That, 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 that phrase brings back some, some haunting memories that oh, I thought it was funny when our gas station selling bull peanuts lost a couple of letters. And they said, oh, 
Oh my god. See now, no, no, no. Um, up here in Georgia, you just get the letter P and then nuts. I don't like D, like D's nuts, but it's just peanuts. I don't know why I move my hand like this. Whatever. From NYCC, I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if it, 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 if he was offering a oral for uh, for some fun to exclusive Smitty. That like, yo yo, let me get that uh. Let me get that uh, that Photoshop exclusive, man. I'll give you I'll give you some brains real quick. It's fucking true though. This is give me down. Ugh. Well, I mean, given the given what a lot of people look like up and coming, you don't want that. You don't want that. Don't you don't want those donuts? You, you, you. Maybe what? Uh... Trying to read. And then Sean sending me messages on Instagram. I'll I'll get to you in a minute. All right. So we hit the hour mark and there's still 13 people here. Um I don't know if someone's paying y'all to be here or not, but again, thank everyone for popping in. Um why they done it. Well, and they're see, coming's not bad. But there are certain parts around where I live now that you don't want to buy anything at because it, I mean, you can buy meth. There's a lot of places. I mean, I mean, I can show you where to buy meth. I don't do it, but I mean, you know, you know, the, and this, this is a town not too far from me called Crackworth for a reason. Um, but yeah, I mean, drugs are prevalent up here. I mean, it's a lot of, my bad. Those coming down and for Brittany. Ooh, Yes, there, there, there's the, there's the first coming bank and the, and the third coming bank. So if you're first, you're good. If you're third, that's just gonna be sloppy. Y'all have a coming theater. Um, I wouldn't go to the movie theaters in coming. Um, it'd be a little bit, a little bit more sticky than usual. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jonesboro is horrible. Yeah. Coming meth special. <laughs> Yes. I I mean literally um when I worked for Advance Auto, um people would come in and buy brake clean by the case, but they'd walk in. At that point I'm like, I'm not selling it to you. You don't make meth. I don't want any part of your meth your meth habits, so you can go somewhere else, buy your brake clean. But yeah, I know and I mean honestly there's there's billboards all around. Uh, for addiction, especially meth, all theaters are coming theaters. And I thought, see, I mean, technically speaking, you can, I mean, any theater could be a coming theater if you're careful and if you're quiet. So just saying, Pee Wee doesn't have shit on the rest of the world. Hey. Sorry, trying to get my dog's attention. She's just, why is there a whole? <laughs> that that's just that's that's for ventilation. That's it, ventilation. Has nothing to do with 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 dudes, you know, putting their junk inside it. It's ventilation. Does popcorn get too hot? So you know, you want to let it vent vent a little bit. It all my first taste of movie theater. I was taking to the movie theater. I just want to talk to him. Yeah, if you're not willing to hook up in a movie theater, you know, or or you know, actually, you know, that that came out backwards. It's if you're willing to hook up in a movie theater, I don't want anything to do with you. What's going on, Tad? So welcome to the stream. <laughs> and open the top, but it isn't good. So you know, no, the top is just for you to reach in and grab the grab the popcorn. Um, the bottom is the ventilation. I mean, you can be real jerk and just pour some, you know, butter on on, on the bottom of the of the of the tub too, J just to prevent that from happening. To hot butter on on that, mm, that might hurt. But oh my god, I, I once again I forgot how 
kind of I'm not gonna say stressful it what it is to do a live stream, but once again we've hit the hour mark, so I'm feeling pretty good. I mean Bertney may take a bit. Yeah, well well no, Pop Trouble, that that's where the that's where the uh, kid size comes in handy. You just get the uh the 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 little kitty bucket and just use that. That I mean, it's a little bit smaller at least, so it'd be easy to reach in. I mean, certain people can probably try it and see if it'll work. But I hear they have those in North Carolina. You know, spe specifically the Charlotte area. I'm just saying. I I mean, I don't know anyone in Charlotte, do you? I, I, mean, I don't. But, you know, I read, a, I read an article that, you know, Charlotte was the uh, pilot program for little kids' budgets with little, you know, holes cut in the bottom of it. Wow, what, Ty? I didn't say anything, did I? Everybody goes for that street butter. I mean, extra butter is important, but yeah, I mean, you know, you know, if you want it to kind of, you know, you know, slide in, you know, if, if you want a paper cut, you gotta, you gotta, you, you gotta put something around there to keep it from getting cut. What's going on? Hashtag Larry. Welcome to the stream. Oh man. All right, let's see here. We talked about coming and coming. That's fine. No, Pop Tuple, he's right on time. He's fine. This is this is all Pop Tuple's fault. What's up, Robert? How am I not? I don't know. I mean, uh, I mean, Everybody apparently is not subscribed to me. That's why I'm only at 600, not like 13 million, like everyone else. But no, nah, I, I mean, honestly, I appreciate everyone stopping in, everyone subscribing. Um, I just said I'm not, I'm not a, really a number chaser or number guy. You know, I have my reasons for wanting to hit 1K, and none of them are, are money related. It is just I want to use this to live stream again. If you go back and watch. You know, when I first started this, um, I I really think that Pop Couple should be closer to 13 million than they are. Um, I think Top Pops is closing in on 10 million. It feels like <laughs> blame coming. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to uh, do some merch now for the for the coming stuff because that would sell. If I were if I were that kind of YouTuber, I'm not. You know, I don't, I don't do things for money. You know, I don't. Why don't I do things for money? You know, I mean, if, I mean, if Devin wants to sell me 500 bucks, I'll, I'll shave my beard tomorrow. I'll shave it right now with the butter knife. And I don't even use butter as a shaving cream. I don't even use shaving cream. I'll use butter knife and a butter. And we'll shave this beard off for 500 bucks. I enjoy just hanging out in live streams. Just talking. See, I mean, honestly, JJ, that's why I'm here. The title of my stream is not Mystery Box Battle. It's not, it's not, um, you know, it, I mean, I mean, again, I, I don't knock anyone for doing battles. I don't knock anyone for buying Mystery Boxes. I don't knock anyone for what they do. I just, I, I don't have the money. The time, the energy to get into into mystery box game, you know, I don't. I leave that to Pop Cup. I leave it to, you know, cheap and nerdy. I leave it to Sean. Um, they do it a lot better than I ever could. So you know, I watch I watch them open the boxes and, and be jealous when they hit big, and be there to you know just say you know. And once Britney stops working during the week, and and I mean honestly, Brian, you know that's. You know, that's the one thing that from the old days that I miss is we used to go from 
channel to channel to channel hanging out. You know, and you know that you know that's kind of what I want to do. You know, if I go live every Tuesday and we hang out for an hour or two and talk about what I, you know, I mean, you know me, I am I have no filter. <laughs> you know, you know I have no qualms about talking about anything. I'm not worried about getting monetized or demonetized or you know tased or you know uh, it doesn't you know so hanging out here you know for an hour or two you know with you guys every week would be fun you know i don't you know i said in my last live i don't want to come i don't want to compete with anyone too i don't want to be on on a on a wednesday and have and you know feel like i have to either rush or pull people away from you know other people's streams yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, we're a community of thousands, so that's you know, it's you know, I'm gonna run through some people or, or you know, run concurrent with some people. But as long as I have people in here, I'll talk. And I mean, we started off talking about cute little innocent chump, all the way to coming. So, I mean, you know, the sky's the limit. And that, you know, you know, that's, that's what I liked about, you know, you know, you guys in, in this community is, you know, we have straight lace, you know, Funko chats, and then we have bullshit chats like this. <laughs> it always does, Brian, you know, coming is all downhill. Cause once you come, then it's over, you know, uh, uh, until you go back up the hill again, and then you, and then you're just back downhill again. You know, it's that even flow of coming that can be fun you know, especially on a friday night you know you start off in dairy queen uh, you know the coming dairy queen um you drive by the jail you're know, coming jail and you have the coming laundry mat the coming taco bell and you go to the coming cracker barrel yeah yeah a lot, lot of fun to be had in coming and we smoke and are we on the smoke and grass of whiskey? <sighs> I mean, honestly, I would love it. I kind of want to go to coming now and just kind of <laughs> just do a vlog and just show you around coming. Cause I mean, honestly, like you'd be surprised that. I mean, I mean, I went back for the first time a couple of years ago or about a year ago. Just driving through and say, holy shit, coming has changed. Yeah, new buildings, you know, you know, they tore shit down, built shit back up. Downtown coming looks completely different. Sounds like South Park episodes that uh... see, see, um, I kind of wish now I didn't delete mine because I literally threw. Actually, no, I didn't really throw the pop because I wanted to protect it, so I had to trade it. And I, but I got just crap. You know, I, I titled the video "Chrono Ono," and I filmed it, and it was just shit. I mean, as as pop couple, you know, eloquently put with their smile world boxes. I just got a big dump of shit in two boxes from Chrono today that I immediately traded for this beautiful guy. It's much different than that. Yeah, um, Uptown Coming is... Mm, you don't, you don't want to go to Uptown Coming. It's all about Downtown Coming. Beaver Den Gaming, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. I'm, I'm not Brian. I'm I'm not Sean. There's no pops behind me. I'm just I'm just I, I'm the guy. How does Uptown? Um, I would say Uptown coming might be lactating. I mean, I've never Uptown coming before because obviously I'm a man. I don't. I mean, I have moves, but they don't lactate. So, but Downtown coming. Eh. You know, they, 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 they definitely gave it a facelift. I'll say that much. All the shrubbery is gone. A little bit more bare, but a lot, 
a little bit wider. It's changed. Oh, oh, this definitely massage parlor isn't coming. There's one or two. I, 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 I wouldn't go in them because it's not, it's not the, it's not, it's not the same kind of massage parlor that, um, that Robert Kraft went to. It looks more like the, looks more, more like the cast of uh, Honey Boo Boo is working in there probably. <laughs> they cleared, yes, they cleared the strip for landing. And the creators of Booze and Pops, a new side stream. That could be the. I mean, I'm, I might ha I might have to steal that Zach for for the for this stream here. Just coming soon. And be coming soon. Created by Zach Bonifer. That that could work. That could definitely work. Let's see here. <laughs> that that'd be a very short intro, Brian. But That's a good idea. Robert should have to do a talking booze and pops while coming. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, we could. I mean, we, I mean, we could do a pretty bad live stream. I could go from like nine to ten with with the whole coming stream, and then y'all can just take off at ten. Here's <laughs> Robert coming live. All right, yeah. All right, I'm I, I'm brainstorming some. I I, I may have to find a uh, a logo maker to help me out with 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 some of the ideas I've got in my head now for uh, for all this. I mean, I mean, you got booze and pops. You got homespun's happy hour. Coming with Robert. Oh, that that could be a, a interesting title. I don't think people would really want to watch, but but I mean it's a working title, you know. I mean, you know, you know, you know, the first couple of times you just have to kind of work it out and then and then get used to it. It feels it feel you know, you know, you get you get that feeling and then you just want it more and more. Oh, yeah. It could work. It can definitely work. It uh Papa, uh, tell him you need. Okay. Coming through. He's just. Uh, I. Oh my God. Who? Who is? Oh God. Who is doing that a lot? There's someone. It was a, you know just do like little subtle shoulder movements. You know just so you kind of look or make sure the hand pops up a little bit. Go like that. Like that. Just for an hour, just like, hey, yeah, this is this is my chump. You know, just I cross over. This is my Cartman, and then and then right before you cut the stream, you get a can of shaving cream and just shoot the shaving cream up. I could do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tell me about your channel. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh you do pops? Great. Yeah. I love your stuff. And then just shoot the shaving cream up. Perfect. <laughs> just be like, and, and we're done. <sighs> I'd have about more tarps for out here then, I guess. It could be, I mean, it could, it could be like what Anthony used to do with the, with the, uh, with 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 the pop spotlight with with different channels, it should work. I could make it work. I would just need to figure out. <laughs> see, see, the best part of the, the the best part of the premise would be no one would know exactly what I'm doing. You know, I wouldn't fill them in like, oh, hey, by the way. Oh hell no, 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 no. Yeah, I catch them off guard. Man, what the fuck were you doing for an hour? 
That'd be kind of cool. I, I, I could definitely do that. I would just need to make sure, I, you know, the live coming stream and just walk around to have. See, but but for me to do that, I would need to hit, I would need to hit one K so I can go live on my cell phone. Just saying. I mean, look. I mean, I'm not gonna do it. I just need to cover my my keyboard in plastic, and you know, I, that's a that's a good idea. I'm I'm, I'm not to try that once, or, or or just do a pop review, and, and during the spinny, you just you know, I can just like yell and scream and shoot the pop with some with some uh, whipped cream. You can do it at any moment. I mean, you know, a coming pop review, a coming Marvel Eleven Legends review. You do a scheduled live stream and you you hit one K before the scheduled. Oh God. I, I mean honestly one K would be a dream. I've always dreamt of hitting one K. Nah. I don't want to have fun. I mean I, I mean honestly, you know, I'm I'm easy going. You know, I I would definitely you know I'll definitely invest in some shape in some uh whipped cream. And, and, and we'll try it out, and we'll see how it goes. Worst case, worst case that happens, I have a bunch of whipped cream around the house. As if I couldn't find a use for it. Plenty of uses for whipped cream. Whipped cream pie, whipped cream pie. Just, you know, shoot whipped cream and, you know. Yeah, it'd be fun. And to be a it, to be epic and mega stream, too, though. You got a bunch of people coming at once. And you just synchronize coming would be awesome. Why is it you gotta... Because YouTube sucks balls. That's why. Um, for a while, for a while, um, you were able to, but the people were doing stupid shit. So they went with the, with the 1K rule. For uh, live streaming on your phone. Because again, again, you know, back when we started um, YouTube back in 2018, um, I did a whole. I used to always do a live on my phone. Um, you know, went live in Disney. Um, let's get to no. See, see the all right. This would be the title. It would just be it would just be everyone coming together. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I mean, Robert, I mean, I'm breaking YouTube, but everyone can come together. And the point of the stream is to make everyone come together. You come together to see Pops. Come together to see Marvel Legends. We come together to just hang out and talk. You know, everyone come together. It to, it to just be hanging out purposes or it could be coming purposes. Whichever way y'all want it. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to get thrown off YouTube, but you know, you know, I mean, I mean, you need to have some some fun with that and run with it. I mean, it's no, it's no hot toy unboxing. You know, it's no, you know, you know, making, you know, awesome uh, props, but green the kids. Yes, everyone come together. Leave the kids. That means you would save here. Can't come to my stream. 18 and older. I don't care if you're creating your own uh, designer toy now. You gotta be 18 years old to ride. I wouldn't say this tall, but he, but he looks like a pretty tall kid, so I'm not gonna bring height into it. Just this age. I feel weird talking around like younger kids. 
the way I talk. That's why I don't have kids of my own. That's why every time I'm around my that's why every time I'm around my nephew, I have to I have to put a filter on. It's hard to come at the same time. I mean, again, quick draw. If we do it enough together, we'll we'll just get used to it, and we'll and we'll figure it all out while we come together. You know, and it is true though. the The chat on Streamyard is way slower than the, than the chat in YouTube. That's why I'm using my. That's why I'm trying to use my phone as much as I can. But in about three percent, I'm gonna lose y'all. So. At that point, I'll just wait until it pops up on here. And yes, I know I can open up a set per tab and use YouTube, but that's just too hard. Let's face it, I'm lazy. And it's almost 8 o'clock at night. And I'm at an hour and a half, which again, it's the longest stream I've done since I've been back. I've only done two streams, but, you know, I'm trying to work, I'm getting, working through it. Um, like I said, uh, I'll probably try and do this every Tuesday around, you know, around the time I started, about six thirty or so. Um, I have the luxury this week that I'm getting off at four, so it usually gets me home around five. But when I get off at five, I get home at six, probably six thirty or seven. Um, yes, yeah, you know, I mean, women can synchronize their periods. We can synchronize coming. We'll figure it out. We have nine people left in the stream at an hour and a half mark. I, again, I appreciate everyone who's staying, everyone who's come in and hung out. Um, I'll say we had some of the the uh, elite YouTubers in here tonight. You know, uh, Brittany and Brian and Pop Couple and Sean and Hashtag Larry came an hour late and uh, Candyman's here and Quit draws here. Beaver Den Gaming popped in or is still here. So you guys are awesome. Um, you know, I know I kind of fell off for a bit. I just said now, now that my computer is back, I'm gonna try and get more more lives. Kenneth Bird, you are awesome too. Um, I just said we have a lot of people here. Um, we had 15 at one point. That is awesome for me. Um, I, I've I said it from day one. I'll now keep saying it. Whoever's here. Is who I'm is, you know I'm I'm happy for, you know I do it for you guys. All right, Brian, have a great night. I'm actually getting ready to probably head off here in a minute too because, shit, I've been up since five fifteen and I died up and got three more days to get up and then I'm off for the weekend. But, um, you know I want to thank everyone for stopping in. Um, I want to thank Pop Couple for their influence in me getting this. Um. You know, I'm not getting out of the pop game, but I definitely want to um, do different, you know, you know, I, I think we're all at that point. Um, you know, I saw that Mikey Turner basically is doing the same thing. Um, not really getting away from Funko, but kind of not as heavy into it. And I, I think that's where I'm at right now. Um yeah, so we'll we'll still do fun dough content. There's still pops that I want. There's still pops that I'll you know want to bring into the collection that are older. Um, so you know I'm always gonna be buying fun dough, but not as much as I used to. Uh, Legends, Black Series, um, other stuff that I'm sure Pop Couple will find and show to the world. I'll buy down the line. Um, you know, stickers will go out sometime this week. Or this weekend, like I just said I work has been crazy this week, even more than. See, Legos is something I can't get into. I have, I mean, if I don't have space for pops, I don't have space for Legos. But Legos are awesome. Um, every time I'm in Disney, I go by the Lego store, and I just, I want to buy like one of those big Mac Daddy sets. Um, I would love to buy the the castle. For Cinderella's Castle, and I'm a huge Disney fan, so that would be something I would love to own. Um, obviously, like Death Star and um, other Star Wars ones, um, some Marvel stuff. Um, when I was in Plastic Empire, they actually had, I think it was the SDCC uh, 
Boba, F- Boba Fett brick heads with the Han and Carbonite. That shit at 130 bucks. That was insane. Um, I intend on getting into the Back to the Future comic book that I showed in my video yesterday. Um, if you didn't watch it, watch it. Um, I got the uh, the first collection of um, the Back to the Future comic books. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Hopefully I'll get into it when I get off here. Um, I still need to eat dinner. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, the dogs are peacefully laying in their crates. So <laughs> I do need, I, I need a display area period. Um, the, I mean, the best I have is I have some pops behind here behind my computer um, that I'm looking at. This box right here is one of like four on this couch that are, that are getting ready for storage. See, Pop Trouble, you, I honestly think it will take a Pop Collector or just a Collector in general to create like an eight-walled house. Don't know how it would function, but you need eight walls. You know, it could be an octagon. I mean, you had to live in the, you know, your house to be an octagon. You have eight walls. Just saying. It may look retarded, but. You got more wall space. You need a big, you need a big plot of land. You can build the Octodon house, and you have eight walls. And then on the weekends, you can host MM, you can host fights. Get in the Octodon. Go go to Pop Tuple's house. It's an Octodon fight in their living room. That would be kind of cool. I just I actually had a bag of. McDonald's toys that I found that I have to go through that my wife's aunt gave her that I'll probably do a video on it just kind of showing off what's in there some pretty cool stuff in there but I got like a year ago so I forgot I'm running out of room in my man cave build a bigger man cave that's the easy I mean build more that's the easiest way to fix anything. Just build more. Build it bigger. Buy your neighbor's house. Knock it down. Move in there. Create a man house. And who lives there? No, that's just my that, this is my uh, pop collection. It's a six bedroom house. Build a pop. Like, like, if I ever hit Lotto, that's what I would do. I would have like a cul de sac of houses, and they would all just be mine, and it would just be like displays full of everything that I own. What? Well, that's that's fair, I guess. You know, you know, one room a piece, it's fair, but. Is there, a, is there a room behind your room that you can knock a wall down and just say, hey, that's still my room? Like, the wall just fell down. I don't know what happened to it, but it fell. So now I have more space for my room. That's what I would do. But I'm also a jerk, so. Don't, I, I wouldn't listen to me too seriously. Build a bigger, just build it bigger. Buy a storage shed. Um, people here in the South love their storage sheds. Bet you bought, bet you bought one for... Um, at my job, we have uh, guys who just put fuel in trucks all day. We bought a little, like, four-by-six shed. I told my boss, I'm going to buy one of those and just turn it into a studio for me. Just have a place to sit. The driveway for the cars. Just saying. A lot of people park cars in driveways. I actually park mine on the street. And you know what? It's still there in the morning. I'm just trying to help you find solutions. They may not be the they may not be the best ones, but I'm just the idea, man. Whether they're whether they're rational or or uh based in reality, I can't really tell you that. It's like my guys at work, you know, 
and they call in with a stupid question. I'm like, I can't really tell you what to do, but I'll tell you what I would do. It's up to you to you know listen or find a better solution. And I mean, honestly, Kenny, man, your collection is amazing. So I mean, I wouldn't want to get rid of any of it. So I mean, I always said you can drop the floor a little bit, lay stuff on the floor, and put putsy glass over it. That way, you're just kind of walking on pops or walking on collectibles, but they'd be safe if it's built right. That's what I would do. I, I would love to line my line, you know, line the floor of my house with like collectibles under Plutsy glass. Just put it out there. She won't notice. Uh, and she would. She's a woman. She'll notice. Who am I kidding? But. So we're down to seven. Seven slash eight. But again. Yes, happy wife. Ha happy life. Because if she's happy, she's letting you buy stuff. If she's not happy, you ain't buying nothing. So keep her happy. That's what I do. I, I cringe every time I see something posted on, you know, for Disney with like with because uh, Carolyn loves like mouse ears, so every time they have a new festival, there's new ears that come out, and I cringe because I'm not to buy them, and they're like almost thirty bucks a, a set. But once again, like like Candyman Rip said, happy wife, happy life. Um. I just wish it was happy husband, you know, hap, you know, happy husband, but happy life, happy wife. If I make her met. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Yeah. That see, see, that's why I keep my wife happy too. You know, I don't, you know, I don't want to anger her because if I do, I ain't going to have nothing. And, and my wife wouldn't even sell it. She would probably just give it away. There would probably be a couple big boxes being shipped to someone. She'd probably, she'd, she'd probably send them to like, I don't know. She, she'd find the, the, the one YouTuber that I didn't really like, and she'd send all my, all my stuff to them. And, and sit down and admit, admit me watch the unboxing video to realize she sold all my stuff. But it's all packed up nice and conveniently for her. She can just run, grab it. Go to UPS store and I wouldn't even know because half my pops aren't even here. Oh, my wife doesn't know how to use eBay. She just knows how to go to like she she she's resourceful, but she doesn't she doesn't the I mean she'll buy on eBay, but she won't sell on eBay. She would just sell she would send them to, to, to the first person who who said I want them. So that's kind of Kind of where I'm at with that, but uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get going in a minute here because uh, I've been on now for hour and forty three minutes, but we will definitely uh, I would be willing to be that person. Uh Smitty, she probably would send them to you, either you, Dre, probably JC. I mean. I mean, if I had to go to someone, I I wanted I would want them to go to someone that would appreciate them. Dre would just, I mean, I, I Dre, if you're watching this, I love you, brother. But you, but you're you're in you know, the pop game, and you'd trade them in for statues and legends and stuff. You know, I would want someone to, to appreciate them. Say, hey, this this pop was owned by Robert, and just put it like somewhere on a shelf and forget about it. That, that's kind of what I, that's kind of what would happen. All right, have you a wonderful night. Thank you, Kenneth Bird. You are awesome. Uh, Carolyn is probably already knee deep in watching other YouTubers or watching. <laughs> um, I, I I can't answer that question, Pop Couple. I don't know. I I I mean we I mean I can tell her to ship them from coming from the coming post office. They have no problem getting getting envelopes closed. I know that much. They just kind of rub it on the on the on on the on the counter and, it'll, and it just sticks automatically. But be back next week. Like I just said probably around seven six thirty seven o'clock, just depending upon when I get home and I can 
decompressed a little bit. Um, and then I appreciate everyone for stopping by. Um, Pop Double, Smitty, Quit Draw, Candyman, Bertney, Brian, Sean. Hashtag Larry for coming in late. Um, I will I will get to the bottom of this live stream name by next week. I can't promise a logo because I got bills to pay and I got Disney in thirty in in thirty days. So um we'll work on on logos and stuff like that. Definitely blame Pop Tuple. Um I probably will have a new collectible by next week. Um I don't know what it's gonna be. Who knows? I mean I, I I'm I'm always looking for something different. Yes, it's great to be back, Smitty. Great to have y'all hanging out with me. Um, until next week, keep keep coming, keep going. Love y'all.